Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackie and I hope you're all having a great day today. In my last video, we were in the haunted garage communicating with some of the spirits that live in my house. At one point in the video, something strange happened. My ear started ringing and I just kind of breezed right past it because I couldn't get into all of that in that specific video. But I really wanted to make a video talking about ears ringing and what that means on a spiritual level because I've learned so much about it recently and what I found out has completely shocked me so I couldn't wait to tell you guys about this. And I feel like a lot of people watching this video are going to be able to relate to what I have to say and it's going to be shocking for you too. So on that note, let's just get straight into the video. So like I just said, this video is going to be about ringing ears and what that means on a spiritual level. When I say ringing ears, what I'm referring to is that sensation that comes out of the blue. You can just be sitting there watching TV, all of a sudden you get this loud, high pitch ringing type chime noise in your ear. But there's so many different types of ringing. I know I've had it where I'll be sitting there and all of a sudden it's almost like the hearing in one of my ears just goes away completely. Almost like there's a pop and then my hearing's gone and then slowly the hearing starts coming back and there's that underlying more quiet ringing noise along with it. So there's so many different types of ringing in your ears. And I personally have experienced this so much. It's kind of been a, I always thought it was a problem. I've had it so many times that at one point in my life, probably three or four years ago, it was happening so often that I went to an ears, nose, and throat doctor for it because I didn't know if I had surfer's ear. So basically, if you surf a lot, you can get weird kind of deformities inside your ear from all the wind always hitting it, from cold water getting in there. So surfer's ear is super common. So I was worried I was starting to get surfer's ear and that it was causing tinnitus or something like that. So I went to the ears, nose and throat doctor and they said, no, you're completely fine. You don't have tinnitus. You don't have any of that. Once they said I was completely fine, I stopped worrying about it and just realized it's something that I've dealt with my entire life and it just kind of happens. Once I found out there's nothing physically wrong with me, I kind of just, it was like a weight lifted off my shoulders. I was like, okay, like I'm fine. Nothing's gonna happen. I'm completely fine. So this is just something that happens to me and my hearing always goes back to normal. So I shouldn't worry about it. And it's extremely frequent for me. I don't think, it happens to me probably at least five or six times a week, this ringing. Sometimes it happens multiple times a day. It just depends. So. I've just been living with it, didn't think anything of it, thought it was normal up until about two weeks ago. So I'm sitting there on TikTok scrolling through the For You page and all of a sudden this video pops up on my For You page and it was, the gist of it was saying how when you hear ringing in your ears, it's something on the spiritual realm trying to communicate with you and instantly that drew in my attention. So from that point, I started doing so much research about it and it turns out this is a real thing that happens to people and supposedly it means that something or someone is trying to communicate with you whether it's to warn you or just let you know that they're there with you or they're trying to speak to you and whisper something in your ear as i'm researching this there's just so many different possibilities what this can mean there's a big difference between whether you're hearing this ringing in your right ear or if you're hearing it in your left ear. There's different meanings behind what type of ringing you're hearing, how long you're hearing it for, what situation you're in. It's crazy. There is so much information behind this ringing in your ears. So I'm going to go over some of it with you guys and then I'm going to tell you this crazy experience I had a week ago. But I will say before I give out any more information, if you are having like constant ringing in your ears or this is or is very frequent i would recommend getting it checked out by a doctor just to make sure that you don't have tinnitus or something more serious going on with your hearing if this is like a constant problem for you definitely go get it checked out but other than that if it happens every once in a while it might be something 
on the spiritual realm trying to get your attention. Apparently, it is said that the way that angels communicate is through ringing in your ears. So the ringing you hear is actually an angel, which could be your spirit guide, your guardian angel, even a family member who passed away. All of those things, I mean, I personally consider those angels just anyone we knew who we cared about and whoever cares about us. So it is long said that the way that angels will try to communicate with you is through the ringing in your ears. They're trying to whisper something to you or talk to you, but a lot of us don't aren't as in tune with our abilities and we can't hear what they're actually saying so that's why it comes across as ringing the majority of the population aren't in check with all their abilities so it just comes through as a ringing instead of hearing the physical words so like i said before it's usually a high-pitched ring or buzzing sound and often it disappears almost as quickly as it comes so i know when it's happened with me it's probably about a good 10 to 15 seconds before the ringing is 100% gone. I've definitely had times where the ringing has been there a lot longer, but on average for me, it's about 10 to 15 seconds until the ring is completely gone. It's interesting because a lot of people think that when you're hearing the ringing, it's almost like a journey through Claire audience. So it's almost like that the ringing you're hearing is the first step in communicating and hearing what these spirits have to say and the more you practice your abilities and get better at all of this then the next step after that would be to hear whispers so if you've really been working on like your spiritual self and opening yourself up and you start hearing this ringing in your ear that means you're on the right path to clear audience and all that type stuff so let's start out with the right ear so in most cases right away if you hear the ringing in your right ear right off the bat you should just rest assured that that is a good sign the right ear is usually a very happy sign a happy communication good news trying to come to you so right ear is always good but the number one reason you would hear it in your right ear is that it's trying there's an angel trying to give you like almost like a heads up and kind of give you some motivation to keep on doing whatever you're striving for, whatever you've been working on, keep doing it because a good result is coming your way. So it's almost like them saying like, keep it up, like don't give up, keep doing this, you're going to get the result that you've been looking for. The next meaning of right ear ringing is actually really funny and I was shocked to find this out, but ringing in the right ear could mean that someone is talking about you. And I've always heard that saying since I've grown up, say I call my mom and, I, and she answers the phone and she says, oh, we're, your ears must have been ringing. We were just talking about you. And so that's just a very common phrase. I don't know if you guys have heard it, but I've heard it my whole life. Just, oh, we're, your ears must have been ringing or your ears were ringing because we were just talking about you. And so apparently that is a very literal phrase because it is said that ringing in the right ear is actually indicating that someone else is speaking about you. But unfortunately, this isn't always a good thing because it doesn't differentiate between someone speaking highly of you or someone basically gossiping about you. So it could be one or the other, which is kind of scary. And the reason you're hearing the ringing because is because once again, your angel or whatever spirit is just trying to warn you that someone is talking about you in that moment. Okay, another reason you could hear the ringing in your right ear could be to let you know that you're not alone in this journey, that your angels and spirit guides are looking out for you, they're here for you. So if you're, if there's a time where you're feeling like down and depressed and just hard on yourself and you hear the ring in your right ear, more likely than not, that's your angel and let you know that they're there with you, you're not alone through this and everything is going to turn out okay. So it's more of a comforting feeling and your angel's trying to guide you through whatever experience it may be and basically they're just trying to help you out through it. Okay, so now that we've covered some of the basic meanings of the ringing in the right ear, I'm gonna tell you guys what the different pitches can indicate as well. The high pitch ringing in the right ear is a sign of spiritual being coming in on the energy of your crown chakra or spiritual center. These are usually beings that are connected to source, such as angels and highly evolved beings of light. But now a lower pitch is a sign of an energetic being coming in on the energy from your lower chakras 
which are your survival centers. These are usually lower vibrational beings that are coming in on stress and anxiety. So if you're sitting there in your room and all of a sudden you're super anxious and stressed out and this low hum starts happening in your ear, that could be like a lower vibrational spirit just trying to bring you down. If that happens, I'd say really just try to clear your mind and think about what makes you happy and yeah, basically try to get rid of that negative energy. Now, lastly, we have the sudden and loud ringing, and this is what I hear the most. A sudden and loud ringing in the ears that lasts only a short moment is often a way to get your attention, usually from a spirit guide or an angel, telling you to pay attention. Usually this is a warning, but it can also be something that excites your guides. So, it's basically, the meaning behind that is basically exactly how it sounds. If you get this super loud, sharp ringing that just happens for a split second, just think of it of your spirit guide just being like, hey, maybe they're trying to warn you about something or get your attention. That is the main reasons for the ringing in your right ear. So now let's get into ringing of the left ear. So how the right ear was mainly happy, positive things. The left ear is a little bit different. The left ear kind of serves more as a warning, something to grab your attention. Sometimes, basically, if you hear ringing in your left ear, something's trying to keep you safe, something's trying to get your attention and make sure you're okay. The left ear is associated with life outcomes, both good and bad. It is an outlet for our manifestations. When we're manifesting and our left ear is ringing, our thoughts, dreams, and desires have a stronger likelihood of coming true. So that means if you're sitting there manifesting and all of a sudden you're hearing this loud ringing in your left ear, that's something telling you you're on the right track, this is going to happen for you, keep doing this, keep manifesting because it's all going to come together. So that's a good thing about the ringing in your left ear. That being said, if you're thinking something very negative, you're dreading something, you're fearful, anything, any negative emotions like that and your left ear is ringing, try to change your attitude as quickly as you can because just like if it's ringing during good manifestations it will come true more quickly it's the same with the bad if you're thinking bad and your ear starts ringing subconsciously you could be manifesting those negative emotions in that moment that can make those feelings and thoughts you're having just be magnified another reason your left ear could be ringing is something telling you that a situation may or may not go your way and it's a little more on the may not go your way side of the things. So it's almost like them saying like, it's okay if this doesn't happen for you, it will all work out, but just be prepared for the worst basically. Okay, the next reason you could hear ringing in your left ear is once again a warning, but this one is more specific. The example I saw is basically, say you interview with a job, but you want it really bad, and all of a sudden your left ear starts ringing. It could be a warning for your angels telling you to kind of stay away from that job and don't get discouraged if you don't get it because something better is on the horizon for you. So it's just kind of a warning sign of saying, be careful and we're looking out for you, something better will come your way. So keep that in mind if you hear your left ear ringing and you're in a situation similar to that. One of the last reasons you could hear the ringing in your left ear is basically for your angels and spirit guides is them telling you like you need to check yourself basically. You need to sit back, reevaluate your life, your decisions that you're making and kind of get things back on track. So they're basically trying to help you alter your life and just basically make your life overall better and sometimes that means completely changing the course that you're on right now. So that is them literally telling you like you need to slow down, you aren't living the right way, this isn't what you're meant to be doing, you need to reevaluate yourself and try to get on the right track. So it's basically them slapping you and telling you to stop whatever you're doing. All right, so now to finish it off, the different frequencies in your left ear and what they mean. So if it's a high-pitched frequency in your left ear, it is often a sign that you are in a growth period. This means that you are stepping into a higher vibration and your energy is re recalibrating to get into new alignment. This realignment often causes a high-pitched ringing. Low pitch ringing in your left ear is often a sign of stressors or negative energy that are lowering your vibration. This causes your energy to be off balance resulting in a temporary, temporary low humming in your left ear. Buzzing or white noise in your left ear is often 
is a message from your higher self. This is especially true if, if it is accompanied by a feeling of peace and trust in the flow of the universe. It is a sign that the communication pathways between you and your higher self are opening and your intuitive language is developing. This should ease over time the more comfortable you feel listening to your intuition. And lastly, sudden and loud ringing. Sudden or loud ringing your left ear is a warning from your higher self and signal to pay attention. Now to end it off for both of the left and right ear, pay attention to the frequency and occurrence. And by occurrence, I mean like almost like the pattern of the ringing. So a lot of times the ringing will almost be in like a kind of format. So if those sections are closer together, it's normally a more urgent message. And if they're further apart or none at all, then that means it's not very urgent whatsoever. So if you're hearing like -na 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 -na, that is someone like screaming at you to pay attention. So yeah, that is all the meanings behind the ringing in your left and right ear. And I absolutely found this insane because this has happened to me forever. But the experience I had the other day is what really tripped me out. So this was the day I was getting my spine procedure and I'm sitting there in the waiting room and no one was allowed in with me with COVID. So I was just sitting there all by myself and I was super nervous and scared. And I was like on the verge of backing out because I just was so terrified for some reason and I had to be put to sleep. So that just made me nervous in general. So I'm sitting there alone in the waiting room for about an hour and at this point I'm literally like about to walk out of this place and say like I can't do it. At that exact moment I get the strongest ringing in my right ear. It has never been so loud. I've never experienced it like that. Instantly I remembered that TikTok video that I had seen. So I went online right away and started researching and I found that the ringing in your right ear is your spirit guide trying to comfort you. And so Instantly, I just felt so much more calm and all my anxiety and panic went away in that moment. And it just felt like someone was there with me trying to comfort me. It was crazy. And I just had a feeling it was my spirit guy just sitting there with me trying to help me through it. And I think it was my friend who was there with me in that moment. And then a couple days later is when that orb thing happened. And then I asked on the Necrophonic app if he was in the waiting room with me that day and said yes. So that really just tripped me out because instantly I just felt so much more calm when that ringing was happening. So I believe that the ringing you can hear can potentially be someone looking out for you, an angel whispering in your ear. But I just found all of this stuff so interesting and I just really want to share it. So if you guys have ever had any experiences like this with the ringing and everything, comment them down below because I really want to hear about it. If you have a crazy story regarding it, go ahead and send it to me. My email is MackieAlbertson21 at gmail.com or you can DM it to me on Instagram. It's just MackieAlbertson, but I do want to hear about it. Oh so, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up the video there. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on all post notifications. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.